<laughs> Clever girl. Oh my god, now it's perfect. We've done it. We've done it. Thank you so much, mod devs, for making our life better. Yo, what's going on, guys? Riot's here as just an official Jurassic Park employee, as you can see, riding on top of this gorgeous Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor. This is, of course, a male. You can tell by its, like, frills on its face. I don't know if you can call those frills spikes. Little hairs? It's mohawk. You know how, like, male reptiles usually have more flashy tendencies because they gotta look sexy. And right here is my raptor pack. These beautiful creatures right here. They talk back to me how beautiful is that. I basically just have most of the Jurassic Park 3 cast right here in front of me. It's kind of beautiful. Here we have Dr. Grant, uh, Amanda, of course, the female Jurassic Park 3 raptor. Of course, much more blatant, like, paley skin, I guess, kind of like me, you know, where, like, you could be dying. And then we have two more males over here, of course, completing Mr. Kirby and Billy, the guy who, of course, is no better than the people who built this place. And today, all heroic and shit. We're going to be hunting down a pretty damn realistic looking T-Rex actually. It's very exciting. It's like the first super realistic looking dinosaur I feel like we've had. Or first, first super realistic looking T-Rex I feel like we've had since then. Um, now like nowadays in 2018 the T-Rex is basically a giant chicken for the most part. I don't know why I said chicken so weird. I think it's hard to say chicken not, not weird. Today I'm going to be using nothing more than the god-given tools on my back. Although, the god in this sense would be Godzilla, the mod dev. That name actually just worked out better than I possibly could have thought ever imagined. With this beautiful spanking helmet, the spaz shotgun, of course, the, uh, the shotgun used against the clever girl. Everything I'm using, actually, on me is all used in several Jurassic Park movies. This, of course, I identify, I just, I d never thought about it, but just looking at it, I picture Chris Pratt holding it, spraying down to Morphodons, so that's where I recognize this from. But of course, these, because as humans, we also have, like, thermal binoculars. I got me some Jurassic Park 3 grenades, which, um, of course, when Billy throws them to save Dr. Grant, just basically scare off small predators like compies to raptors, and just a grapple hook because I'm also a goddamn ninja. And this is a freaking T-Rex we're hunting down. That thing sounds pretty, pretty, pretty bananas, to be honest with you. If I were to pick a fruit to identify the situation, it'd be bananas. So make sure to leave a like on the video unless you're the kind of sick son of a bitch who doesn't like Jurassic Park 3 dinosaurs, perfectly accurate T-Rexes, and of course just arc on weekends, man. If you don't enjoy those things, honestly, you should, you, we, we should, the police should be aware of your existence. It's only a matter of time before you choose your next victim, you sick bastard. Alright, and we're off on this journey. I'm not bringing this full raptor pack because, um, I just don't necessarily think that's the point of the video. All you really need to have fun in Jurassic Park is a little bit of Dr. Grant. Fare thee well, fam! That will never not be amazing. I think Godzilla the Mod has done such an amazing job on these. Alright, and we're off. Now, I've seen, like, the image of these on the mod page, but, um, of course, I'm having someone come in and, like, create it in the land. If you think I'm actually hunting one of these things down right now, you're absolutely insane. I don't even know what it would do. I would have to wait for them, one of them to spawn in the first place. I'm trying to stream No Man's Sky for, like, three or four hours later with a large pack of people. Possibly meeting Crisco in there as well because, um... Well, the game looks pretty dope now, and aliens are always very enticing, dude. Alien, al aliens, monsters, kaiju, and dinosaurs. Really, what else is there? I mean, Marvel movies, but I mean, that's in boobs. That's it. That's that's all of it. All right, now, for those of you wondering, I am doing this basically vanilla. I've been really loving a lot of vanilla stuff, but I know this isn't exactly vanilla because it's essentially vanilla with sprinkles because obviously other stuff is added in to alter it, like these weapons I'm using, but the darts and everything are pretty much all standard just so you guys, because these are standard tranquilizer darts. Like, they're not modded in any sense. They're not like Anunnaki or anything where you have like a billion, or you use like three to take down a billion Torpor like these. This is, if anything, this rifle helps a little bit, but all it does is shoot the arrow or the darts a little more frequently. It doesn't add any torpor or anything to them. So this is essentially what you will be dealing with. I've been doing that Twitch server or survival series where we have like just Jurassic Park creatures, but everything else is vanilla and it's so much fun. I love it. I got so bored spending like two or three arrows, like Anunnaki arrows, just instant tame stuff. It's way more exciting when your ass is just on the line and everything you care about as well. As well as your tribe mates. Oh my god. Look at that. There's one right over there. I had absolutely no idea it was over there. What the hell? I'm not even gonna try and say that. Quetzalcoatlosaurus? Rex? It's a Rex. Alright, let's just call it a Rex. We know what's going on here. What are you looking at? 
I wish this thing was dressed as a woman, but then when we looked at it like this, it very notably had a dog, and then and then we just had to have a little laugh to ourselves right before enacting this battle right here. But no, they have to have cloacas and no earthly evidence of any sort of genitalia because over 50 to 100 to 200 million years, genitals disappear. Dr. Grant, you do your thing, buddy. It does look damn cool. Look at that. It's like some freaking, um, who is, who is, who is footstepping? Am I hearing the creature's footsteps? I am, dude. I hear the goddamn creature roaring. What the fudge kind of binoculars are these things? He's in the spy on some, some weird stuff. You see some weird things with these binoculars, man. Look at that. When you aim right at me, you hear him walking. Oh, I hear everything. You can, you can hear people talking about you from a mile away with these things. All right, I'll try and focus more on the beauty of what we're seeing right here because it is a spectacular specimen. It's the one specimen-y specimen right there. I can't really see it for, for crap with these things on them. Better with my regular eyes. Can't see damn thing with these. It does look damn cool to be honest. Oh, I see way better like this. I'm an idiot. All right, I should have brought a freaking spyglass so I could see this thing's torpor while we do this. I am a fool. These things happen. All right. You don't, you ah! That was a little close right there. Prepare to meet your maker, you bastard! Wait, should I be seeing arrows or numbers? I feel like I should be seeing numbers. What's going on here? Do they just get lost in the feathers? Perhaps. Perhaps they do. Damn it, I can't believe I didn't bring a freaking sp uh, special spyglass so I can keep track of this thing's torpor. That's like the most unprofessional thing I could have done right there. Aside from being naked, which I am right now. No, I'm just kidding. I think that would be illegal, to be honest. I'd be a cam girl for the most part. Dude, I'm not even shooting dead accurate in there. Okay, I swear to God. Wait, hang on. Could you give me some answers? No, you can't. All right, he's fighting the trikes over there, so I'm going to go ahead and dangle down like the booger I essentially am. Hope for the best. This is why you just gotta always buff movement speed like crazy. I think he looks so bananas, dude. Whoa! What just happened to the accuracy on this gun? He's just waving it around all topsy turvy. As long as there's animals in front of me, I shall be fine for the most part. I feel like I feel like I wonder if it's registering though. My only beef stickles right now. I wonder what kind of torpor this freaking thing has. That would have been probably useful to research before doing this video. Research? That sounds like preparation. Wow! After you shoot a bunch of shots, it feels like my DPI just launches. It goes up super high. From like my casual 800 DPI to like some sort of 10,000 DPI. Nerd talk. Get over here, you bastard. Woo! I guess this is a good time to get a good shot at it. That's what you see when it's charged at you right there. Look at that floppy tongue. That is one floppy tongued SOB right there. I honestly now I'm kind of thinking back to this video and I'm realizing what the hell do I think? Whoa there, buddy. What the hell do I think I'm doing? Like, do you have any idea how, kind of how hard it is to solo tame a T-Rex running around in the open just complimenting its big open mouth? This would never happen. I'm now realizing exactly what I kind of stepped myself into here. I, 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 I think I bit off more than I could chew. I feel like essentially what I would need is a couple tribe mates, perhaps about a thousand darts between us, some behemoth gapes to catch this sucker inwards, and then about an hour of my time. Actually, yeah, that's like pretty much what every freaking other large creature on our survival series took. Sorry, it's been a long time since I played vanilla like regularly, so I'm relearning it all. I really feel like I made a stupid decision right now. I regret it deeply. I hate myself and everything around me. I think I'm gonna have to stop doing that. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to break the fourth wall right now. Deadpool all over your guys' faces. Cause realistically this I mean it is an aberrant an aberrant freaking I can't even remember words right now. Let's see how effective these things are. Well well goddamn! So what are you made out of then, you SOB? For everyone saying let them stack, I don't believe in that method. I understand if you're trying to keep the creature alive and everything, but I'm pretty sure this goddamn thing is doing just fine right now, okay? Its health is doing fine. I'm just gonna fill it with as many darts as I possibly can. It seems to have some kind of issue hitting you in this situation when you're backing up away from it. I seem to have reached like the realm of perplexion. Damn it. I just, I just totally said absolute nonsense. Erase the last 10 seconds of what I said. It makes no sense whatsoever. Unless it does, then awesome. But I don't know what it means. Oh, he's gone down. What is going on, you beautiful creature? Thy beast has fallen. Level 183 female. Would have known all this if I had a spyglass out already. 
And that's what we're probably looking at for a 183 haul. We're about 40k, it's not the worst. I did not bring any taming supplies with me, of course, but also, if you guys haven't cracked the code, this is not a survival series video, obviously. Seeing as how I don't have an active survival series going on a Ragnarok, that would have been the first clue. I don't know why I talk like that. It's like the coffee builds up. The longer a sentence goes, the more a sentence gets weird. I think that's it. I think I've cracked my code. All right, you big giant peacock rainbow chicken. Let's go take a run with you. Oh my lord, it actually looks pretty damn cool. I don't even know any other mods by this person. This could be like a first timer right here, which would be pretty damn phantasmagorical. I'd also imagine this creature would have to be in more of an arctic setting or at least a colder environment because I, my character is literally suffering from heat stroke right now. I imagine the C-Rex would not be far behind. Dude, this is really pretty and actually, um, what's your health? 16k at level 289. I guess that's pretty, I think that could suffice. I feel like this could be added to our, um, to our Jurassic Park world where it's just all, um, basically either Jurassic Park dinosaurs or realistic dinosaurs, just other creatures that existed in real life instead of just art creatures, but then no taming mods or anything like that, except for this, but this is in the Jurassic Park mod. Can't even help it. It's awesome too. Plus look at this, look. Clever girl. It's perfect. This creature seems to be hyperventilating or dying. If my dog does this, then I got a serious panic movement. I think this is like when it comes down to it and I really look at it and I think about it, perhaps some sort of remorphed Utyrannus. I mean, I feel like every modded creature is a morphed version of another art creature and that's why, um, that's, it's basically just the best way to do it. That's why the arc dev kit exists for the most part, so you can do epic stuff like that. Either way though, there's so many beautiful differences and just the variations with this creature that makes it so much more beautiful. You guys ever heard the expression peacocking when you dress all vibrant and beautiful in front of people to get everyone's attention? This is exactly where that, that expression came from because look how vibrant and beautiful this thing is. It's got my attention to be honest. I just role played Jurassic Park 3 to come find this, this SOB right here. Oh, that's glorious. Oh my god, I really hope there's just more and more creatures in the future from this guy right here because um, they're going to be gorgeous. Now, I, w I, I feel like they could be bred. They definitely can be bred, can't you? Like, wondering to me. Yeah, you guys can be. I don't know how the kid would look. I feel like it'd be funky, but I also feel like I'm 99% sure they just made it so the kid is just a shrunken down version of the adult, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like the, the craziest thing to see, although it might be freaking adorable now that I think about it. I've had triplets. You know what, they are pretty damn adorable. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. You can see base creature underneath when they are a baby. That is one teensy-weensy issue. But that's just a little bit of fourth wall breaking. I mean, you're in a video game right now. You know damn well. So, you know every skin in Fortnite is just like those two dudes with helmets on, right? I still, I I know it. I still just lie to myself and tell me they're not. But we all know underneath they all are. So if Fortnite could do it, the game that makes 300 million estimated a month, then I feel like a mod developer could do it too. Because they don't even make money. They just like took time out of their lives to make our lives better by gracing us with this beautiful creature. And for that, I am forever grateful. And I. I know I asked you guys for your opinion on if we should add it, but I feel like no, we'll just, we'll just base, go based off yours as long as you guys make the right choice and choose to add it, then we're all good. <laughs> Clever girl. Oh my god, now it's perfect. We've done it. We've done it. Thank you so much, mod devs, for making our life better. Why am I heat stroking right now? Am I in freaking California as well as Ragnarok in California? I think I've cracked that code. Alright, so today was basically a trial run for this beautiful asthmatic beast, which is like hyperventilating over my shoulder right now. I could just feel the warm musk, the humidity coming from its face hole. But, um, yeah, let me know down below if you guys want to see this add to the Twitch survival series. But, um, yes, because I feel like it would be freaking awesome. It would just fit in so well. It looks so damn cool, man. It's like, how is this the first feathered Rex we've had? It's just crazy. Alright, so yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>